Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's lesson we're going to focus on core unit 1 physical geography. We're going to look at the theory of continental drift. Okay, so the first thing you need to know about the theory of continental drift. The continental drift theory was first proposed in 1912 by a man called Alfred Wenger. And he, he proposed that all continents were, were joined together um, and in one big giant landmass called Pangaea. And about 200 million years ago, um, they formed the first two, they began to like uh, split away, and they formed the first two land masses. So there we have it, here's the few little key little facts. So 1912, Alfred Wenger proposed that all continents were joined together, and it was called Pangaea. So like we said, uh, so... In about two million years ago, uh, Pangaea started to split away, and they formed two uh, land masses called Laurasia and Gondwanaland. And basically, Larissa is uh, Laurasia, sorry, is made up of Europe, North America, and most of Asia, and Gondwanaland is made up of Africa, India, South America, and Australia. And over time, uh, these two land masses began to split even further and they split into the continents as we know them today. So there you have it, I wrote down a few different points uh, if you want to take them down now. The next thing we're going to look at is the proof of um, continental drift. Okay, so the proofs of continental drift. Okay, so I'm going to talk through some of the proofs of continental drift. And the first one is the continental fit. And... What you can see is the coastline of the continents fit into each other uh, really well. So, for example, like South America fits um, like a jigsaw piece into Africa, um, same Australia, and, and so on. Okay, the, so the, the, there is uh, this does give proof that maybe at one point the continents were all uh, joined together in what we call uh, Pangaea. The other thing is that um, there is matching fossils from the same animals uh, found in exact locations uh, where the continents were once joined. Okay, so here's some of them. So the, the Mesosaurus is found in South America and found in Africa where it would have been joined up. Um, and and this is not is not just uh, one soft. There's quite a few different fossils that is found um, in different parts of the world. Um, and some of these fossils were, were reptiles and were not, were, not, were not able to swim. So... This obviously proves that at one point they must have been joined together in order for these um, fossils to be found on both parts of, of, of different continents. The other uh, proof of continental drift is the matching rock types that we that is found on continents uh, that are now thousands of miles apart. And the last one is the sea floor spreading. Oceans, uh, ocean floors widen as new rock is formed along mid-ocean ridges, so a constructive plate boundaries. Um, and the newer rocks are found along the, the ridge and the older rocks are the furthest away. And this can be proven by looking at the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Uh, the newest rock, if, if when it's tested, is, is the one closest to the Mid-Ocean Ridge. And the ones, uh, the rocks further away uh, from the Mid-Ocean Ridge um, are older. So this proves that, uh, the, the, in, even more for the, for the theory of uh, continental drift. Okay, so I've wrote down some notes there for you if you would like to take them down. Okay, so that's it for today's tutorial on looking at the theory of continental drift. If you'd like some more videos, please check out our website, uh, examinevision.ie. Thanks, guys.